Elite Facts presents Teachers Who Behaved Very Badly 10. At Christmas time, the last thing you want your kids to be thinking of is prison. Well, a New York teacher came under fire when she forced her pupils to write Christmas cards for her incarcerated boyfriend. Melissa Dean got 143 kids to make 27 cards for her boyfriend, John Conciarelli, because she thought it was a nice thing to do. The cards were mailed unknowingly to the offender, with at least two containing the children's addresses. There is a bigger problem here. Cocciarelli was behind bars for possessing child porn and an unregistered weapon. He owned 27 indecent images of children and was due for release the following year at the time of them being sent. 9. Teacher of the Year is probably the pinnacle of an educator's career, but Mark Minghurst took his celebrations a little too far. Minghurst was arrested for running naked through the parking lot of a Camden County apartment complex in March and was recently fired for what the Vineyard School District considered to be conduct unbecoming of a tenured teacher. 8. The teachers engaged in a threesome with the student and even videotaped the sessions. The boy in question didn't want to press charges on the matter, but Respis turned herself in not long after. Shelley Dufresne and Rachel Respis are all smiles in these images as they enjoy life as teachers, but it would all soon spiral out of control as Dufresne put into plan the seduction of a 16-year-old pupil who she would seduce back to the apartment of Respis. 7. Music class is meant to be fun and engaging time during school, one where talent and hard work can combine to make sweet sounds. Well, that is, if you have the instruments to do so. Danielle Connor Willowglade stole instruments from her classroom and then pawned them in a neighboring county to help feed a heroin addiction. She admitted to stealing up to 50 instruments from the school, who enlisted the help of her boyfriend, Nicholas Bump, to exchange the instruments for drug money. 6. A teacher who led a double life as a major cocaine dealer has been jailed for 21 years. Mohammed Sarwar was known as a teacher in his criminal circles and he went about his dealings in secret for eight years. It was completely unknown to colleagues, pupils, and parents. The 30-year-old business graduate was boss of a gang who sold cocaine wholesale to drug dealers. He was found guilty of conspiracy to supply cocaine and conspiracy to supply cannabis in a trial last month, at which five others were acquitted. Five. In a high-profile case in England, teacher Jeremy Forrest and student Megan eloped to France together and planned to get married. The problem was, Megan was only 15 at that time and had no consent from any adult about her actions. Friend said it had been obvious that they were together and that Megan was always hanging around the math teacher. Forrest was a married amateur musician from Ringmer near Luz and had been under investigation and was expected to be suspended the Friday before they disappeared. A European search warrant had been issued after they were caught on CCTV strolling through Bordeaux, and police soon caught up with them. Forrest, 30, was arrested on suspicion of child abduction and Megan was taken into protection after they were found. 4. Mary Kay Letter knew was a teacher when she fell in love with Vili Fualao her 12-year-old student. Despite the insane age gap and difference, the two claimed to be soulmates and wouldn't be separated despite being found guilty of felony second-degree rape of a child. Something amazing happened on her release. They got married some years later. As well as having two kids between them, Mary Kay immediately met up with Billy as soon as she was released first time and resentenced to seven more years but not before falling pregnant. In 2005, some seven years after meeting, was when their wedding finally happened. 3. Ryan Armitstead was 27 when he was arrested for sexual indiscretions with two underage victims. He worked as a soccer coach and began grooming the two girls with text messages. The text messages were innocent at first, dealing with soccer games and other matters, but eventually escalated. He abused one of the girls over a period of four months before she came forward about the experiences. 
he was sentenced to over a decade in prison for his crimes. 2. Albert Fentress's actions are more horrifying than any other on this list so far, for he had not only killed his victims, he ate them. Paul Masters was his victim, who was lured into the middle school teacher's basement in a familiar scene like that out of Deliverance. It was here that he tied him to a post, sexually abused and mutilated him, shot him twice in the head, and cooked and ate parts of his body. He was found guilty by way of insanity and sentenced to life sentence in a maximum security prison for his horrific crime. 1. In 1989, the body of Betty Jean Solomon was found in the family home. She had been hit in the head with a pistol and shot nine times in her back and legs. Earlier that night, police had received a call from a woman in distress that had been cut early. The main suspect was husband Paul Solomon, whose alibi had been in a local bowling alley with some friends before he was due to meet up with the woman he was having an affair with afterwards. That woman was high school teacher Carolyn Warmus. After the death, Solomon broke up his relationship with Warmus and met another woman. It was at this point they began suspecting her due to her erratic behavior towards Paul Solomon. She began to relentlessly pursue Solomon, including following him to Puerto Rico and calling his woman's family in an effort to end the relationship. When they gained information that Warmus had obtained a 25 caliber Beretta pistol with a silencer bought with a stolen driver's license of Lisa Katai's, it was enough to put a case together against her. Thanks for watching another amazing video, folks. Subscribe for more from Elite Facts.